Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn energy reading and I'm going to use my crystal cards and my green witch tarot cards. If you are interested in any of the cards that I'm using, please feel free to check out the links down below. Also, this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take the parts that do resonate and if it does not, leave the parts that do not resonate. Also, if you like this reading, please give me a thumbs up as that helps my channel out greatly. Okay, so energy for this reading for Capricorn, what do we have? Okay, we have two that popped out, so we will go with those. So we have this one and that one. So we have Rose, Aura, Quartz, Heart's Desire, Love Divine. The energy of love vibrates on a soul level, penetrating the body through its many layers of tissue all the way down to the cells. Rosa War Quartz is a crystal of love with the ability to shift one's sense of self, providing nourishment for your growth and transform fear and doubts into unconditional love, creating a strong bond to the universe. It creates a synergy between the pineal gland located in the brain and associated with your third eye and the heart chakra, infusing your intuition with space to give and receive more love. All zodiac signs, sun and moon. I think it might be this one here. My sister got me this one because this is rose quartz, but it has the, the aura on it. So it could be that one right there. So let's, this one's really pretty. So let's put that there. And then we have this one, which is sulfur. Volcanic progress inventive. Sourced from volcanic areas, sulfur is an excellent companion for bottled up emotions that can manifest as skin conditions fevers, and emotional outbursts. Sulfur has a negative electrical charge, allowing it to absorb toxicity and destruction from your surroundings. Sulfur also brings to light the natural disasters in your personal landscape, highlighting your shadows in order to clear the path for renewal. This opens up awareness of triggers that can cause eruption, placing consciousness in action. So we have Leo Sun, so I feel like it's bringing those things that are deep down inside that are triggering you and bothering you and are holding you back, but bringing them to the surface so that you can see them and that you can deal with them. And even though that's kind, that's a lot of hard work mentally, and it's a lot to go through, the ability to be able to release that is absolutely amazing and freeing, and it brings you this massive lightness. So. I feel like with these two kind of connected together, it's kind of bringing up to the surface what's bothering you to release it and then being able to receive more positive energy and to receive more love. Um, I almost, I'm kind of imagining the death card because the death card is that you're holding on to something that is preventing you from moving forward. And I feel like it's putting death to this, but opening up to this. So I feel like it's a big transformation, transformational love energy here. Learning to love yourself and to forgive those and yourself for decisions that have been done or made that were hurtful. Okay, so what do we have going on here for Capricorn? Struggling with Nine of Wands. What else? What else is Capricorn struggling with? We have the Nine of Wands, we have the Knight of Swords, and we have the Eight of Swords. So definitely questioning everything around you. As with the Nine of Wands here, he has his, his hands are braced against the table, and there's a little Sidhi, a little fairy, and he's like, hmm, what are you doing? What are you up to? Can I trust you, right? just really wondering okay like I just feel like you feel like you're feeling like is everyone against you or is everyone trying to you know are people around you trying to hurt you and I feel like you're questioning the people that are around you I feel like part of you just wants to run away with this knight of swords I feel like part of you just wants to kind of get on your horse and run away and go to a different area and 
we have the eight of swords where you're holding yourself back I almost wonder is again with the sulfur is what is giving you this energy of not trusting people around you and questioning the people around you and putting you in this energy of the eight of swords what is your trigger has have you been triggered is there someone around you that is triggering you is there something that has happened to you that has triggered you and or is it something from the past what is it that needs to bubble up so i almost feel like this sulfur stone in this reading is helping you to bring that to the surface for you to ask yourself those questions or for it to bubble up to the surface for you so that you can release that and you can work on that all right what does capricorn need to focus on okay love it ace of cups we have the seven of cups what else does capricorn need to focus on what else does capricorn need to look at queen of cups Okay, lots of emotions here because what you need to look at is your emotions because we have cups, ace of cups, seven of cups, queen of cups. The queen of cups is somebody who is very emotional. She can be very sensitive. And the littlest things can bother her. And it's look like looking at, do the littlest things bother you? Like sometimes when I'm really emotional, like I'll be watching TV and commercials will make me emotional. <laughs> And I'll start crying or I'll watch a show and it's just like I'm having a really hard time. So I know that there's something within me that I need to work on. That I am being affected by something that maybe I don't realize or that I need to take a closer look at. I feel like you need to look at, I just feel like it's thinking about your emotions and your feelings. And what are you thinking about? And what are you processing? And the people that you are around, are they supportive? Are they not supportive? Ask, I just feel like this is a lot of individual work that you need to do here. I, my eye got picked up by this butterfly, which again, which I was saying over here is that transformation of seeing what is it that's bothering you? What is it that's triggering you? Why are you emotional? Why do you feel like you're all over the place with your emotions? And I feel like it's looking at that and asking yourself those questions as how can I get myself more settled, more, um, more grounded. Okay, future energies for Capricorn. What wants to come in? What energies want to come in for Capricorn for this lesson that Capricorn is is learning here what energies want to come in here for capricorn for this love i love it two of cups happiness um closeness love again it goes with this rose quartz aurora rose aurora quartz sorry my mouth is not working again my brain is quicker than my mouth the sulfur is this, right? The sulfur is, is this eight of s swords and nine of wands. And the rose aura, aura, rose aura quartz is this, two of cups, this love, right? So th this is what wants to come in for you. And that's what I said from the very beginning is having those things, recognizing those things, working through those things, getting rid of those things, and then focusing on this. And then we have the two of wands. We have the two of cups and the two of wands, so two twos. So twos are new beginnings, right? Twos are starting new, starting fresh, starting over, two of wands. I like this two of wands because is she saying hello or is she saying goodbye or is she saying both, right? She, you're saying goodbye to this and you're saying hello to this. Love that. You're saying goodbye to this and you're saying hello to this. And then we have the 10 of swords and it's sort of i almost feel like it's burning and releasing see how the smoke is coming up here it's releasing those things right it's releasing so i feel like this goes with the sulfur and these two go with that one 
So it's just like these repeated energies and these repeated patterns that are coming through for you that are trying to get through to you and tell you this message that you're holding on to things, some toxicity that are holding you back. And if you're feeling over emotional, explore why you're over emotional. Because there's something that's holding you back that you need to process. A lot of times we have that mental chest in our head that we just shove things in and then we shut the door and we close the lid and we say no. But as we get older and there are times when we're really tired or we're stressed, when that lid opens up and stuff bubbles out and bubbles over and we have no choice but to deal with it. And I feel like that's why you may be really emotional here, but it represents transformation for you. And fighting it is not going to solve the problem it's like putting a band-aid on it so it's like you have to process it in whatever way works for you and I feel like maybe for some of you with this fire this fire is really standing out for me and then this smoke sometimes if we just write those things on a piece of paper and you know what is it that we want to release what is it that we want to get rid of what is it that we no longer want to deal with and we write those things down and then you burn them and you get re rid of them and you release them. And it's a freeing energy. It also could be, again, like I said before, in your living space, are there things, are there articles, are there things that trigger you? For me, I, I, I'm a Capricorn sun and a Capricorn rising and I have been feeling this really big shift. And lately I've just been, um, going through and just throw I have three bags of trash right now just from having gone through old paperwork um, that I was keeping that I didn't even need to, to keep and just bagging that up and getting ready to throw that in the trash is a huge feeling of relief I've been reorganizing things I've been you know moving things around um, and it's really been great. I mean, it's, it, I didn't realize, I feel like throwing those three bags of trash out of things, paperwork that I didn't need to keep from like 10 years ago. And my life 10 years ago, and I even found a journal where I had written down and it was just, it was very sad. I didn't read through it, but I, I knew what it was. And I threw that out. Because I didn't want that energy in my living space now. I feel like I'm a different person now. And I threw that in the garbage. Because I'm like, I don't want to be reminded of that. Like, I was able to write that journal down. I was able to get those words out. But now I'm ready to throw that those words away. Like, I've moved on and I've progressed from that. So I feel like for some of you, it's that same thing. And it's just like looking at those things that are in your house that maybe trigger you and that you need to release and you need to let go of whether it's throwing them out or it's putting them in a box in a closet until you're ready to throw them out putting them in the attic the garage giving it to someone else to hold for you donating whatever that is you'd really be surprised when you rearrange things and like i said a few months ago as i rearranged all of the furniture in my bedroom gave it gives it a whole new feeling so you'd be surprised just making those changes within yourself and releasing those things, right? These things that are triggering you, releasing and letting those go will really help you. And it's hard to really sit down and say, you know what? I am holding on to this. I am overly emotional. There is something that's bothering me. And that's what I feel like tarot cards are, is to show you those things, right? To ask you those questions and show you those things. Are you holding on to things that need to be released? But look at what wants to come in for you. Okay, so let's get... Final message for Capricorn. Final message for Capricorn for this emotional reading for Capricorn. Final message for Capricorn for this emotional release message for Capricorn we have the Hierophant okay Rah. okay we're just we have the tower we have all right and then any yeah there we go <laughs> 
we have the Hierophant, which is that faith and that belief and that guidance and that direction and that calmness of knowing that you have that faith and belief in yourself and restoring that, right? Getting it back on track. Believing in yourself, that's the most important thing. We have the Tower. As I've said before, I feel that the Tower has been coming up a lot for Capricorn because I feel like Capricorn is transforming. They're releasing of what old ways and what wasn't working for you, but you're rebuilding bigger and stronger. You're choosing you, right? The Four of Pentacles, doing what it is that is important to you and that what makes you feel good and working on your emotions and feelings. Um, Page of Swords is that it's handling those difficult situations, but it's also like a new way of thinking and having a different outlook and a new outlook and approaching things in a different way and seeing things in a different way, right? It's a new way of thinking, analyzing. We have the Six of Swords where you're releasing, you're letting go, you're getting rid of all the rocky choppiness here, but it's smoother, but you still have swords, so it's still challenges, right? You're always going to have challenges, but I feel like they're not as big because you've released this big thing here. And then we have the Queen of Wands, who is very fi fiery. She's very powerful. She makes things happen, and she's very strong. And I feel like it's you're like, yes, I'm ready to handle it. I'm feeling good, and I'm feeling recharged. Love that. All right, let's get a fortune reading card. I love that. Look at that. That one just literally flipped over. It, we have the diary here, just like I was saying, is that I found my diary um, that I had from the past that I, that I chose to throw out. And that's what I was saying here with the fire, is writing those things down. It could, it could just be words. It could just be random sentences. It could be random feelings. It doesn't have to be in any particular way. It can be however you want it to be and to release that, to burn it, to let it go. Soul searching will bring inner peace to many areas of your life. I love I love these fortune reading cards because I always feel like they connect so well to my readings and that's exactly what I was talking about throughout this whole reading is that soul searching within yourself that if you're feeling emotional, that if you feel your you're questioning everyone around you. You feel that people are against you, that you just want to run away, that you're holding yourself back. You're very emotional. It's soul searching to find that, right, with that sulfur, to bring up those things that you need to process and you need to work through and that you need to let go. And so that it brings you that inner peace, that calmness of Believing in yourself, having faith in yourself, and knowing that everything's going to be okay. Oh, that was a deep message today. If you like this message, please give me a thumbs up. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.